meantime, the aftermath of the heavy wet snow is causing problems in the valley. Residents at Spanish Ridge apartment homes woke up to this right here. A carport collapsed on several cars. And 13 Action News reporter Cynthia Maldonado right now is live in studio. And Cynthia, you spoke to some of the residents. Yeah, Todd and Trisha, it was a big scare, but thankfully no one was hurt. One of those residents was telling me that they're frustrated because they don't know what's going to happen next. It had to be the weight. It just came right out. This carport collapsed on more than five cars at the Spanish Ridge apartment homes. This woman's car was spared. It was parked just one spot away. When I saw it, I was like, oh, Lord. This red Dodge and gray Honda were damaged. The Challenger belongs to Dwight Grant's daughter. Now, my daughter's car is severely damaged, and the management team doesn't want to take responsibility. Grant says he's also a former resident. He points out this carport always had issues. The shed was rotten. After a while, those stuff, they, they, they rotted. You know, if you don't uh, properly maintain it, you know, what do you expect? Things like this would happen. I reached out to the property's management and asked them what caused the shed to fall over. They're not releasing any information. We just want um, them to do the right thing, you know, and take care of their tenants. You know, the people pay a lot of money here. And, uh, Cody Clark works with State Farm Insurance. His office is not involved in this case, but says they're already dealing with snow-related claims. Whenever you're in an accident or you have property that's damaged, it's definitely advisable to document and take photos. And A great tip. The State Farm agent also told me these kinds of claims can drag much longer since we really never see snow here in the valley. 